Dang. <laughs> this is Brandon, and I'm doing a review on Kodiak Wintergreen. And best shit in the world, I think. Next next to Grizzly, even though Grizzly makes Kodiak Wintergreen. And this, this is, is Kentucky Coke Dipper 81. Yeah, what he said. Anyways, uh, about to take a dip. Spitting in our white cup mud jug. Yeah. Until I get my card activated. Oh, shit. So we can buy a mud jug. Yeah. My farm card. We use it for mud jugs. And if you've never guessed it, I'm going to be reviewing Kodiak Wintergreen. Yummy. Gotta get a nice peach. This product can cause gum disease and tooth loss. Really? I highly disagree, folks, because first of all, cancer is genetic. As everybody should know. Unless they're a freaking moron. And uh, secondly, scientists are dumbasses. So. Okay. They say that it causes mouth cancer and all that shit, but. Okay, smoking. It was on a billboard I seen the other day. It says smoking kills 50,000 people a year. Well, that's nothing compared to 15 billion people in this world, probably. That's not very many compared to the amount of smokers that there is in this world and you hear more of cancer from smoking than you do from dip you never hear oh billy bob died from mouth cancer because he dip no you rarely hear anything about it and it's kind of like cajun tiger he's been dipping for i don't know what 25 or 7 years he ain't got mouth cancer he's got wider teeth than i do not saying something. Yeah. <laughs> and that's some bullshit. I mean, okay, and he dipped like two cans a day. I'm like, at a can. So, that's some shit. This is, uh, gonna be kind of a little review. Um, this is my first review, by the way. Well, actually, third, but. Well, it's my first, my review. Take it away. I don't know what to say though. Ain't my problem. I know, right? But okay, I, I watched Cajun Tiger's video he posted yesterday, and he's all he said that everybody gives out shout outs like to Outlaw and Darcy and the Cajun Tiger, but um, first of all, I'd like to know how many cans of Grizzly. He's got in his tower outlaw dipper. It can is pretty, well, he's got like 1,500. 1,500 just in his tower? Yeah, I think it's what he said in one of his videos. Oh, I wonder how how many cans he's been through in his whole life so far. And uh, also, I was watching that video of Mississippi Dipper. I don't know where he's from. <laughs> but uh, that, was, that was a sad video. You'll have to watch it. It was about his... Uh, his grandfather that died and gave his gun to him like a couple of days before he passed away. His will? No, he gave it to him. He handed it to him and he, I guess he had a stroke or something. I think it's what it was. But I'm pretty bad. Yeah. Not a shotgun. I like to have it. What kind? 410 pump. But, so I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to try to think at the top of my head of shout outs. Of course, you got to give a shout out to the godfather of dipping, Cajun Tiger. I know I'm going to catch some shit for that, but I couldn't help it. <laughs> uh, he makes the best videos on YouTube that I, I think. So, got to give uh, Steve credit for all of his great videos and can't wait for his other videos to come on. Um, you need to start making videos. 
I don't know about I need to get a YouTube account that takes forever to get a stupid YouTube account because everybody's got every freaking name possible. You try it. I'll probably build a mic. But, um, I'll try to do a couple shout outs off the top of my head that I haven't before. Let's see, shout out to Mississippi Dipper. Uh, trying to think of the top of my head. Uh, shout out to Outlaw Dipper. What? You gotta watch Cajun Tiger's video. Well, because he's always saying everybody gives the same shouts to the same people. Outlaw Dipper, Cajun Tiger, Darcy from my junk, <laughs> and you just did it. Oops, <laughs> my bad. But um, I try to see Mississippi Dippers, um, Fat Boy, um, <laughs> said Lonnie. <laughs> um, I can't think off the top of my head shit. But anyways, the taste of Kodiak wintergreen is not that of any other wintergreen. It's kind of like a smoother taste. It's not as rough as grizzly wintergreen. Grizzly wintergreen is some strong, strong dip. Yeah, it's it's got kind of a smooth wintergreen taste, I think. And it's not like a big ass punch in the face like when, uh, grizzly. And most... In my opinion, I don't think most people can take grizzly. I think a certain amount of people can dip grizzly, but not all of them. That's that was what I first started dipping with. Me too. The first dip I ever took was grizzly wintergreen. My first dip I ever took was grizzly wintergreen. I took it eight times in a row in one day and started puking my guts up from a nicotine overdose. <laughs> uh, but okay, on Christmas Day I will be dipping two years. That's full time. So, I've, I've had a dip in my lip every day for the last two years. And. I've been dipping for. Going on a year and one month. And I'm going to be trying for that third year. Yeah, was, was it Cajun Tiger that wanted you to do Skull Review? No. It wasn't. It was, um. Uh, I can't remember. Well, anyways, that skull, wintergreen fine cut, that is some freaking fine cut crap. That is thinner than freaking coffee grains. It's good shit, but I mean, it's 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 fine. I, it took me forever just to get it out of my mouth the first time. That's what she said, folks. <laughs> also, if there's any... Uh, any reviews that you want me to do on dip, just send me a message, and I'm I've been trying to get that Copenhagen Black. And it, I've been trying to find it everywhere, and it's still not on the market. They say it's back on the market, but I haven't seen it. It's it's on the market. They just keep selling out. I called the truck stop one day, and they had uh they had like three cans. BP said they never do get it anymore. No, they don't get it anymore. But I called them, and uh, they had it. I, I, they said they had like three cans, and time I got there they already sold it. And that's what I want to try is Copenhagen Black but I haven't been able to find it. I was wondering if they got Coke Whiskey back. I thought Copenhagen Black did have the whiskey taste in it. No it's bourbon. That's another thing Cajun Tiger gets on. Okay Cope, Cope Whiskey and Copenhagen Black is two different things. Cope Whiskey is a whiskey flavor. Cope Black is a bourbon, for, bourbon flavor. So, um, um, uh, oh, I don't either. <laughs> but Cajun Tiger 616, gotta give a shout out to him. I'm sorry. I had to do it again. I'm sorry. He's gonna get on your ass, you know that, yeah, don't I you? Know. You're not gonna hear it. You're not, never, never gonna hear the end of it. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, if you got a request, just send them to me and, uh, this video is getting 9 minutes and 15 seconds already, oh my god. Then it's probably boring as crap, so... Uh, we better stop it before 10 minutes, otherwise it won't work. But, anyways, this is Kentucky Coke Dipper 81, and this was kind of a Kodiak review. Even though we're talking about it, like, different other dips. Which is good to talk about opinions of dips, so... Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna cut this off and, uh, try to do another review another time. See y'all later. See ya.